and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Aurelian Soul Leona. Played a couple of different versions of Aurelian Soul decks and Leona decks and um, wanted to play them kind of together with all sorts of Invoke and also all sorts of Daybreak. Really wanted to play some more Mountain Scryer. Played Mountain Scryer the very first day the set came out um, with the Allegiance Invoke. I think there's just enough really good cards with all of Targon that we can play an all Targon deck like this. Um, you know, we'll always be hitting our allegiance. And uh, yeah, so we're going to have all sorts of daybreak, but then our invoke cards, our celestials are going to be great. You know, we're going to have Spacey Sketcher, Behold the Infinite, both Priestess, Lunari, and Solari um, in there. And then even Moon Dreamer invoking some more. Should be pretty awesome. I think this, this deck's going to be pretty good. Um, yeah, let's just get to it. Let's play some Aurelian Soul Leona. Maybe I should have named this deck after the um, after the Allegiance card Mountain Scryer. Maybe we should have had something like that. But um, Suri now says, I've not played in three or four months. Any tips for a fun budget deck with the new cards? I'm not sure... Like just with this game, like I'm not, I'm not sure what um, budget decks really are like with this game. This deck that we're, I mean, honestly, this deck that we're playing, it's not. I mean, it's just a regular deck. It's not really a budget deck. Um, looking at the list, there's no epics, so that's kind of cool. So it's all commons and rares and the two champions. Um, I would, I would really recommend this deck probably. Like you know, you can watch through here. This has a lot of new cards. And it is quite fun. Okay, so Sunburst is going to be important at killing They Who Endure. Um, I think I'm going to keep it in my opener because of that, but it's a little risky because we need cheaper things. Yeah, with this, with this game, the cards are pretty easy to get. You know, you just, basically, you just find something that you, you know, if you have, like, some shards, you're not sure what to do, just find something that you like, play cards that you like, and um, you don't have to worry too much. Like, shards are not, like, a finite resource where you need to worry too much of, oh, man, I don't want to, I don't want to waste my shards on this. Don't worry about it. If you're going to enjoy it, even if something else comes along afterwards that you're like, man, I'd really like to play that. You'll earn your shards back, and you'll get you'll get wild cards and stuff like that. Um, just playing. So basically, just keep playing, and you'll you'll be good. These old eyes still see far and clear. I want this traveler. Well, yeah, written in stars would help you know, draw a champion, make it cost less, all that kind of stuff. But I think I just want to. Nah, I don't, I don't even offer. Alright, the Destroyer or the Great Beyond? We're gonna get the Great Beyond. Whoa, what's up, Saucy Mailman? Dude, thank you so much! Of course, as everybody knows, Saucy Mailman is maybe the best Legends of Runeterra streamer youtube content if y'all aren't following saucy mailman you, you really need to be doing yourself a disservice hey there <laughs> always has awesome awesome decks plays a lot of teemo right up my alley but yeah uh, it's going pretty good today um i i struggled with the lulu shen deck that i really liked that um I did really well with the other day, and so I was pretty sad. It was just one of those leagues where you just play against a bunch of opponents that, you know, have all the answers and curve out perfectly. You know what I mean? Like, it was just one of those, and so then it gets you disheartened. But we're here now playing all Targon, Mono Targon. And we kind of have just too many cards. That's the thing about our deck. 
is we're just going to have really an infinite number of cards. My spirit shines. Look out for reavers. Ready the torches. Alright, well I guess Callista can level up. Might as well get our attack on. Since we just have too many cards. Ready the torches. Sunburst is gonna be good against Neverglade Collector. Later. Sure. Whatevs. That's fine. Yeah, I could save one with Pell Cascade. Kind of need to clear up room, though, also. I'd rather save the spell mana, to be honest. So we'll have, we'll have uh, <clears throat> nine spell mana. I'll be able to sunburst, plus. It's kind of difficult which one to sunburst. Collector or Callista. I guess it's Callista. But this is great because they can't, you know, they can't use Fear of the North and save because of the silence. In the turn. That's a cool plan. Uh, let's see. Let's behold the infinite and see kind of what, what's going on. So we could get a destroyer or a trickster. I like having a trickster to have an elusive card against this stuff. Everyone's a guard. So the problem with using my other Sunburst to kill the Neverglade Collector, which I want to, the problem is then I don't have that for They Who Endure. Oh well. Keep our life total up high and... You know, like, maybe they don't even have They Who Endure out of their million cards in hand. You never know. No, I'm not playing any Hush. This matchup Hush is awesome. Everyone's Definitely. Why would they play that other Caretaker right now? Did they think they had the attack token? I am not casting the Great Beyond next turn. We're going to wait till we have leveled up Aurelian Soul and just play it for free. We're going to you know, cast other cards. I mean, I guess they're, they're going to... I guess they're just killing stuff. Off for their 7 drop, I guess. Yeah, buffing up Endure. Alright, we're going to Behold. Look for the Obliterate card. No Obliterate. Um... So that's unfortunate.
Crescent Strike. Why could I've had you before? Oh, that's my favorite too. As foretold. Yeah, we could definitely lose this to atrocity. I shouldn't have played. I shouldn't have killed that Callista. I need to save. I don't really know what, what we're drawing into to stop atro atrocity from happening. So many stars. I've only played two Celestial cards this game. Really? Feels like I've played more. Well, I mean, I can go for the win with the Elusives or... You know, try to find something to stop they who endure, but it's just probably not that likely that I'm going to find something now. That's too bad. Alright, so lesson learned. Do not kill Callista. That Callista was just not scary. I just, I just had to save my Sunburst because this is this is the way that I lose the game. Like there's not any other way that I lose the game. So that's that's my bad. There isn't a, a burst card for me to go invoke to look for. I needed one of those invokes <laughs> to find me another like an Equinox or something. No, 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 no. My my deck does not have too much value. No. I need to sequence differently. I need to save different cards. You know, I need to save my removal. Oh, well, GG's. I also think I should have played my 3-5 Invoke instead of the Daybreak card. Should have played more Invoke, less Daybreak earlier. Sunburst, Sunburst or Moon Dreamer? Sunburst is good against Trundle. I'm getting rid of the Moon Dreamer. Oh yeah, that's a pretty sparkle fly. <laughs> yeah, right. Catsville didn't have enough didn't have enough luck with those. Alright, so we're gonna be attacking for a lot here with the with the invokes. We got our 3-3. 4 one overwhelm. We get an aggro against the the Trundle Soul deck. Now, they're going to be able to have Avalanche next turn, but this turn, that's 8 damage. Ooh. No Avalanche. That's good news. If I go Leona, they could go Trundle. Which is bad news. Punish transgressions. Other weirding stones. <clears throat> I saved my mana here, so I could could have gone behold plus pale cascade. The 
dawn has arrived. Carry her light across the mountain. Hmm. Why did I just play Leona? My plan was to go Cosmic Rays this turn, and then I was like, oh, well, I'll just play Leona, but I couldn't play Leona because I couldn't spend my mana. Why'd I, why'd I just do that? <laughs> why did I do that? Yeah, Cosmic Rays would have been really nice getting rid of both of those. I came to fight. Now we have fun. hurts. Well, every decision I've made has turned out poor. That's not great. Spilled paint is just accidental art. So basically, in case we find an Aurelian soul, we'll have this moon silver. I know your true heart. So I want to trade Leona and Pale Cascade for this Tarkaz, the Tribalist. No. Oh, I don't know. Why don't I just block the 5-5? Five five? My thing's dying. Man, I'm a mess. <laughs> Alright, obliterate one enemy. Well, we're going for it. This one blocks up all the others nearby. It has spell shield. It has elusive. Darn. Now the thing costs zero. Too much to say about that except for nothing worked out. Yeah. 
I thought we were gonna have it there though with the with the spell shield, the elusive. Um, yeah, thought thought we had that at the end, but I guess revitalizing roar gains eight life and GGs. But Revitalizing Roar crushed you earlier today. With Aurelian Soul healing 10. Costing zero. Yeah, they, they had great ramp. You know, they had the Avalanche when they needed it. Ramped a lot. I mean, that's a good hand. Um, I don't... I don't know if this is going to be a good matchup for us. Probably not. We're going to have to look for an Elusive to deal with the Teemo. The Skechers can help us find the... the uh, three mana elusive and so I like the sketchers um, I'm gonna go with the equinox to silence puff cat peddler and um, the two three this land is ours don't think this is really a uh, Bastion match. Another day in the field. Yeah, that's good. The Winter's Claw strikes. All right, we, we got to silence one of these. This is too much damage. I don't like using that here. I want to use that on Puff Cat Peddler. The Winter's Claw. Starts with mushrooms. All right, so probably just going to moon... We'll see what happens here, but I'm probably going to moon silver this Moon Dreamer. Yeah, because I, I can't just not play anything this turn either. All right, there's Trickster. That Cosmic Inspiration card is awesome. Oh, that's my favorite too. Can see the Devastian border. Well, this is a little awkward. Of, I should have mulliganed the Robin. I shouldn't have kept that Robin. <laughs> I haven't played a really Soul deck in a while, team. I guess he just joined in right whenever we did. Slippery little thief stole a star from Serpent's teeth. All right, try to block Teemo. Already drawn two of the five puff caps in two draw steps. In Avarosa's name. I don't know. Maybe I just don't play that because of Leona. Leveling up Leona. I could see that just being a mistake to play that card. I was thinking that, it, it, you know, I just get to use my mana and play it right now, but I can see that just being a mistake. Being a 2 2 or being a 2 3 doesn't really matter, um, especially, especially with that Ruthless Raider over there. No, that's the card I need to. That's the card I need to silence. But why am I not attacking with the 5-5 five five also? Bless the faithful and fear the heretics. Mountain Scryer. Feel no fear, show no mercy. Words to die by. 
gonna turn seven right now. So we have Moon Silver reduce the Aurelian Soul, or it can go Serpent Challenge Teemo. Or I go Messenger, try to draw more cards to use all this mana that I just can't use. I know these paths well. The Winter's Claw! Look out! Ride onward! No mercy for heretics! Power before our might! <laughs> This is going to be tough. So that's just been really awkward. I I really wish I would have mulliganed the Robin earlier. Alright, looks like they got me. I'm just one mana short of playing the Golden Sister. The mountain speaks to those who listen. I just need to draw other stuff. Okay. There we go. So the thing about our deck that I'm, you know, just learning about like with playing our deck is that there are so many decisions to make everywhere with every card cantripping and finding you something else. And there there's just just tons and tons of de decisions everywhere and uh, if you are making the wrong decisions or uh, <clears throat> you know, your decisions aren't working out like you're it's going to be kind of rough and that's that's the thing, it's like I just have so much regret playing all these games because we have so many decisions that there are just different cards I could be doing, different um, you know, different things I could, could have been doing this whole time. And yeah, I definitely have a lot of regret. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. But that's how it is. So basically what I'm saying is I think this is a deck that I need to just continue to play more. I don't, like, all of those games, like, maybe not that very last one, but I mean, they, they're all, like, either winnable or could have had a lot better chance. So I feel like this is a deck that you just got to play a lot of and really get, get used to these. I mean, these are all new cards, you know, and, and I'm just not... used to them enough yet. So obviously I wanted to play Solari Priestess, but I think this is just the best decision is um, silencing that thing. And I'll hold on to the spell mana with Behold the Infinite. 
Once I stayed my blade and spared your life, Leona, would you have slain me then, knowing what I've become? Um, yeah, you can you can definitely play Leona without any of the new champions for sure. Um, I know like some people try like Leona with Yasuo, going that route. That's a pretty decent option. I did it. Um, I did a Daybreak discard deck not too long ago. Now I did have I did have a Rillian Soul at the top end of that deck, but a Rillian Soul is not nece necessary on that. And so that's that's on YouTube if you want to see like like the D PNZ discard cards with Leona. I basically just had it like where I really only needed Leona as the only champion, and then I just decided just to throw a Rillian Soul at the top end. But that. You can definitely play that deck and just play, you know, any other kind of top end threat besides Aurelian Soul. Bask in her radiant blessing. So Leona's going to be vulnerable forever. Forgive me. Be brave. Night descends. Even though we can save that for this turn. You know, it's going to be dying. Back, heretic. Future turns. I'm going to be trying to kill the Diana, um, but I didn't really, I would, you know, want to play these other things first and not really let them know that I'm going to be killing the they Diana. But not eternal. I guess the serpent. Sunlight blinds while moonlight I just, reveals. you know, like next turn I'm going to be playing this golden sister. Then we're probably going to go with like falling comet, and you know, so I'm going to be using other mana. When others threaten, we must take action. All they have to do is play one other Nightfall card. Your feelings. You spurn my gift. Our light grows bright. We tried to blind me with resplendence, but they could not break me.
surprised the other one two didn't block my one one. So basically, I made that attack to help clear out room. So Nocturne's going to level up and give all of their things fearsome. And that's a problem. Where the Diana still just has the two health. When others threaten, we must take action. I'm sorry, Ronan. Sorry. Heed the bar. Whatever the cost. Face your heretic. Remember my words. You were misguided. Gotta stay alive. Daylight star will rule the skies. Get him, silver sister, golden Night sister. The promise of a new moon upon you, Bloom Tender. Gain that life. We will resist. So presumably Diana is going to be the largest unit here where maybe we can stun Diana. Bloom and fade with the morning. <laughs> Solari Faith is the burning light of the sun. I am the bulwark against darkness. Now we have a large blocker with the four six. Go, floaty crystals. I bow to no one. So that block's going to happen. I don't know about this Mentor of the Stones. You are beneath me. Yeah, I guess we just do all this blocking. <laughs> I mean, we've, we've been playing some Draven Taric. Bipolar. That was the deck we just played. And yeah, it looked pretty good. Um, I will not behold a Celestial card. So let's get the Great Beyond. I know these paths well. We should have this one. All right. 
right, there we go. GG. Our deeds will be written in the heavens. Yeah, the patch was whenever whenever uh, Targon was and was added to the format on the twenty sixth. That was the patch. Yeah, there we go. Silence GGs. Yeah, I just need need a little bit extra practice here. Um, and need a little warm up. Getting used to the deck. Ezreal Vi. That's what we needed. A little warm up. I think I'm going to Mulligan Leona. Keep all this invoke stuff. Okay, we gotta win this one to break even for the day. We can do that. We'll just go next turn. Um, I, I like this deck more, Leona, Aurelian Soul over Trundle, Aurelian Soul myself, but also, um, there's a lot of decisions to make with this deck, and uh, it's just kind of, kind of come with practice. Don't blink, or you miss me. Should probably be hold before attacking. Probably should have done that before attacking, but that's okay. Gems are superb. Bad for the teeth, though. Alright, one Ezreal down. I guess they could have had a spell shield. That card is good. Dang. Celestial power. Wow. I forgot about that card. That card is really good. Dang, look at this. That's pretty amazing. So what am I doing? Some point in this thing. Know your path for the mountain changes. Which one of these do I actually silence? I guess this one. Yeah, I, I do. I mean, yeah, Korak, you know how I love the Swain, team, Swain and Teemo deck. It has been a long time since I played Swain and Teemo. That is a good one. Hello. Um. Sunlight so Meteor Shower can kill an Ezreal and just take out this Mentor of the Stones, or if we get two damage on this Stefan, we can kill it there as well. Basically, didn't want to play Leona without the, the spell shield for protection. Next turn is turn seven. So I will be able to have 
Leona plus Spell Shield next turn anyway. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. Rinnan Stars is so good in Expedition. Oh, I bet. Help you find your um, maybe I want to play Mountain Scryer over Leona I just want to keep invoking help you find your champion does seem pretty awesome The destroyer. I know these paths well. Still have the one one that can block for a turn. I'm hoping we just get priority here before they attack. That may we're able to supernova. Nope. Back heretic. Five life. Not much life. Um, the twin sisters are probably our only life steal. Yes, probably. I can't have 12 mana next turn. Why do I have to have 11? I need to. I want to play Leona and have Spell Shield and then play a 5 drop like, you know, Meteor Shower or Robin. I don't know if Leona's actually just better than playing Robin, though. Leona gives me the mana for Sunburst. Or for, for, yeah, for Sunburst. To do 6 2 something. So I can have Sunburst or Meteor Shower, depending on what they have. Like, there's a buy, we can have Sunburst. Or Robin, we can only have Meteor Shower. Pass? Yeah, 
think it still counts as an Ezreal target, I think. Of the sun's true light. Well, that definitely does now. Hate your feelings. Trying just to hold on, but probably won't end up holding on. That was a really nice rummage with that hush. I mean, it was a really good hush as well. Down to four. Down to two. I have to assume that we're dead. Can't really imagine us not being dead. Play one more with our deck. I I like our deck. I'm enjoying it. We're we're learning a lot. I know I'm not winning, but um, you know I'm enjoying it and, and uh, tons of decisions to make and feel like we're learning a lot. I'll play another one. Robins have been getting stuck in my hand quite a bit. Something that's been a trend in these games that I've just been sitting with Robin in hand. And that could be my fault. Like, I've been playing, like, the 2-3 Allegiance Invoke instead sometimes, and maybe that, maybe that made it easier to... Uh, to kill the 2-3 and, and then be you know be able to attack with all that stuff instead of having the 5-5 five five in play. Alright, so we have the spell shield mana, so hopefully they don't get the 3-2. Still count as two for Ezreal, even with the spell shield. Does count as another one there. My faith protects me.
is of the Raharak, our time is now. We'll follow you cool. to the edge of daybreak. Devotion through battle. Who are you? Big life steal. So they're both only going to have one health, so they're both going to be easy to kill still, but at least they'll have to kill them. gotten all of the sunburst cards this game of the Raharat, our time is now. all the sunburst we'll follow you to the edge of daybreak just feel like against a spell heavy deck um it's it's good to keep playing stuff out See, like, if I just go straight to combat, they would just be using spells anyway. And spell-heavy decks, I like continuing to play things out before attacking. I was hoping to get the 2-1 Challenger. That's what I was hoping. The 2-1 Challenger would have been amazing. Right here. We will not suffer unbelievers. They will not escape punishment. Your attack is obvious. <clears throat> so we can make Aurelian Soul cost 9 with the Moon Silver. Day will fall. That's intense. Uh, let's see. Let's take the. I don't know. These are both awesome. Let's just take the one that costs one less mana. Tasty Fae Folk has been pretty good for my opponent. That's been a good card that you don't see too often in... Well, I mean, obviously it's a brand new card. What are you? Just haven't really seen it before, but it's been good. Who are you? Uh, yeah, you want to see... You have to type the plural, decks. That's how you can see all the decks. Also, if you're just on Mobilytics, um, whenever, uh, whenever you are on Mobilytics, when you do the Who exclamation point deck one deck list it'll say like by hawktie live and then um when it says that uh, click on the hawktie live and i'll show you all of uh, the decks that i have as well all right so we're still at a fairly healthy life total with 20. we have an elusive blocker It's still going to be difficult for this Ezreal to kill me. 
I would rather Sunburst Karma. I think Karma is the scarier of the two cards currently. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. Where there is life, there is hope. Alright, but this should allow us to level up Aurelian Soul. What's that one? And that one? So our Celestial cards will cost zero. The constellations bow to me! So first thing I'm going to do is just play this expensive... Celestial card in case they kill Aurelian Soul. Just get the free 8 mana there. I guess we could be dead. Looks like we're dead. Even if I would have gone straight to combat, these are all burst. All I need is two spells to play for five mana. That's why I wanted to kill Karma, but you know they had the deny, so I can't, you know, can't do anything about it. But that's why I wanted to kill Karma. There we go. Firing. Just twenty damage. Well, Alright, well I still felt pretty good about how that game went. It's just, you know, they they ended up really drawn into. Awesome stuff there at the last card rummage. Worked out well for him. Uh, yeah, I'll keep working on it. I, mean, I guess it's like... I need like another like... Two mana card besides just Shield Bearer. That's what it kind of feels like. Startled Stomper. Probably the best thing to do would be to get, you know, like the six cards in another region where a Mountain Scryer isn't. Uh, it's still hitting most of the time. We'll probably need like another region to just kind of help finish out the deck. Um, that could be Freljord for Averrosen Century and Avalanche, maybe. Um, I don't know. Keep thinking about it. I mean, I think this deck is really close, and this is obviously like a really good shell. And I think that we're just, you know, it's just new cards that we got to keep on testing and keep on trying. And there are seven other regions that we can add just a couple of cards from any of those other regions. So figuring out which one that, that needs to be, um, you know, that is to be seen. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave any any comments. You got any ideas about any of the other regions or anything like that? Feel free to um, leave those comments. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Aurelian Soul Leona, and I'll see you for the next video.